Hi, and welcome to this introductory video on Riverside Insights Iowa Algebra Aptitude Test, an assessment designed to provide you the insights for determining your student's readiness for enrollment in Algebra 1. The Iowa Algebra Aptitude Test, or IAAT, is a long-standing, valid, and reliable nationally normed achievement assessment useful for administration to any student in your district, diocese, or school who may be ready to take Algebra 1. Let's explore the benefits, design, and administration timeline of this powerful assessment and quickly glance at the data reports provided. With students re-entry into face-to-face -face learning, we know that many students are displaying significant declines in math achievement as evidenced by recent state math achievement assessments. Fewer and fewer students have the foundational math skills needed for success in math in high school and beyond. Successful completion of Algebra 1 is required for high school graduation, necessary for a college bachelor's degree, post-secondary school programs, and for job preparation, and yet many students who enter high school are not yet prepared for this rigorous course. How well are your students prepared to take Algebra 1 in the coming school year? In what skills do they need further support in order to show mastery of the foundational skills that are necessary for success in Algebra 1? The Iowa Algebra Aptitude Test 5th Edition is a standardized four-part assessment measuring a student's math abilities in pre-algebraic number skills and concepts, math information interpretation, relationship representation, and symbol usage. It was created to help schools confidently place students in the appropriate secondary math course and help them successfully transition to Algebra 1. The assessment provides each student's strengths and growth areas in math and assess students' readiness for Algebra 1, including any additional support and intervention they may need to become successful in the Algebra classroom. It also efficiently gathers student information and predicts student performance in an Algebra 1 classroom. IAAT is typically administered to students in grades 7 and 8, the few common prior years to students taking Algebra. Accelerated learners in the lower grades can also take the IAAT, though, if they would possibly qualify for next taking Algebra 1. High school or community college students who need to take Algebra 1 can certainly take the IAAT as well. IAAT is a 40-minute timed assessment administered in one class period. A teacher typically administers it to a class of students in a group setting. IAAT is offered online through the EdPower platform, as well as a paper-pencil administration. Additionally, IAAT can be taken remotely, and it does not require a secure browser. The Iowa Algebra Aptitude Test was developed at the University of Iowa by leading mathematicians with experience in mathematics education research. The current version of the IAAT includes the latest research in how students learn pre-algebraic and algebraic concepts. A unique feature of the IAAT is its correlation to Algebra 1 course grades in school. Results from validation and correlation studies shows that a student's composite score on the IAAT highly predicts how well the student will succeed in a first-year algebra class in the secondary setting. The higher the student's IAAT composite score, the higher the student's rate of success in Algebra 1, success being defined as a course grade of a C or better. And the importance of ensuring that students are ready for Algebra is that Algebra is the stepping point from which students can then successfully understand the content of other secondary math courses. It's the gateway to mathematical literacy and is necessary for high school graduation. The Iowa Algebra Aptitude Test provides reports for district and school administrators, teachers, counselors, and students to review to identify specific math areas that are strengths and weaknesses. The scores are useful for grouping students based on ability, identifying skills for further remediation or enrichment, and identifying when students are ready to take Algebra 1. Reports available from online testing allow for performance band grouping, student level and item level analysis, and identification of individual student instructional needs through an individual student performance report. The IAAT consists of two parallel forms, Form A and Form B, each with 60 questions. Forms A and B can be administered in a pre-test, post-test fashion or individually during the year to determine student placement and instructional needs. Calculators can be used on the IAAT if your local district or diocese allows. Here are a few sample items for you to see the type of questions asked. 
Part 1 measures a student's understanding of pre-algebraic concepts such as computation skills, working with integers and variables, and the ability to problem solve. Part 2 measures a student's ability to read graphs, interpret given information, and apply mathematical concepts based on mathematical terms. Part 3 assesses how well the student can identify mathematical rules with operations and negative and positive numbers in tables and verbal form, as well as interpret and represent information from graphs and symbols. And Part 4 presents algebraic misconceptions about variables, equations, integers, and other concepts and identifies how well the student understands algebraic symbols. Administering the IAAT online provides districts, dioceses, and schools seven interactive, dynamic reports available immediately following administration. All of the reports contain live links for drill-down information and comparison and can be exported to Excel for sorting or organizing or exported to a PDF for printing, saving, emailing, and discussing among administrators, teachers, and parents. The class item analysis report, for example, displays each student's raw score, their overall percent correct, and the location of the score within an achievement level. Student scores can be sorted by clicking the measurable standard to sort the questions by standard. Each student's incorrect response appears in pink, while correct answers appear as a plus sign. The most commonly answered distractor and looking at each question to conduct a distractor analysis are great features. The performance band report shows each student's overall score grouped by achievement level, how students performed by domain and by standard, and the specific standards assessed. The report also provides a separate visual of the students sorted into groups by standard for remediation and extension purposes. The class scores report shows each student's score in a histogram and according to an achievement level. Student performance by standard shows the number of questions each student answered correctly per standard. A student report, great for parents, can also be accessed from this report. The class standard level performance report shows by domain and standard the overall percentage correct on that standard for the class or all those who took the assessment at the administrator level, as well as the number of questions assessed aligned to each standard. Other reports that are available for administrators and teachers are the Individual Student Performance Report and the Class Standard Level Performance Report. This is the Individual Student Performance Report and it displays by student the number of questions by standard that the student got correct. It also displays their percentage correct by standard and how their performance compares to the class average for each standard. Finally, it displays a description of each standard assessed, the associated questions, and the ability to look at each question on the assessment. And the last report shown here is the item response report. It shows each student's standard score, national percentile rank, normal curve equivalent score, and their standine score, and how each student performed on each question, their correct and incorrect responses. The achievement level of the overall score and the most common distractor answered for each question. Teachers can also view each question asked within this report. To learn more about the Iowa Algebra Aptitude Test, please visit RiversideInsights.com and click Explore Our Tests. There you will see a tile for Iowa Algebra Aptitude Test. Click the tile to be taken to the Iowa Algebra Aptitude Test page for more information. Thank you for your time today in hearing about Riverside Insights and the Iowa Algebra Aptitude Test, what it measures, and the value it can provide you and your students. Please contact your assessment consultant to know more about how the IAAT can support your students and elevate their learning potential. Thank you and have a wonderful day.